Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the QSM Google Sheets connector add-on. And we are using this service called InstaWP to quickly launch our disposable WordPress environment. So this service has amazing features even with the free version. The pro version is also quite affordable. So check out their website at instawp.io. Alright, so let's install our plugin. Hover over QSM and click Dashboard. On your QSM dashboard, click Extend QSM with Pro Add-ons. So on this landing page, we can see three different pricing plans. So you can select from one of these plans or you can purchase a single add-on. And these are the individual add-ons. So today we are going to be using Sync with Google Sheets. So once you click it, you will land on this page and you can select one of these options according to your needs. So you can do a live preview by clicking the live preview button, or if you'd like to purchase right away, click add to cart. Once you're on this page, follow the checkout process to purchase your add-on. Once you're done with the checkout process, you will receive your license key as well as a link to download your add-on. Once you have completed your download, you would need to manually go ahead and install your add-on. So let's do this right now. So we are back at the QSM dashboard and we just want to hover over plugins, then click add new. Once this page loads, click upload plugin at the top. So let's upload our plugin. We can either browse our computer or simply drag and drop. Click install now. So you just need to wait for the plugin to install, but I'll speed up this part. Once the process is complete, click activate plugin. All right, so we have installed our QSM Google Sheets connector plugin. Let's go over to QSM, hover, then select add-on settings. So this is our Google Sheets connector add-on. On the right-hand side, click settings. This is where we enter our add-on license key. So we just need to paste it in this box. So let's set up our Google authorization. Click authorize. When this window opens, choose a Google account. So we are going to choose the first one, test WP. Click the checkbox on this option. Then click continue. So let's enter our license key again. And click save settings. All right, so we have successfully activated our add on and we have connected our Google account. All right, so let's open one of our quizzes. Go over to quizzes or surveys on the left hand side. And let's work with this fast food quiz. All right, so this is our three question fast food quiz. Now we just need to go to the Google Sheets tab at the top of the page. All right, so we can enter our Google Sheets ID as well as our Google Sheets tab name. So let's get our Google Sheets ID. So I've already gone ahead and created a sheet. So it's right here, surveys. You can also add a new sheet if you need to. So once we open this, if we take a look at our URL, after this slash right here, this forward slash, we just want to copy everything up until the next forward slash. So this is our Google Sheets ID. So we are going to copy it and paste it into this field. Next, we need our sheet name. So at the bottom, there's sheet one. This is our sheet name. So we can type it into this field without any spaces. Let's keep this next option as no. And let's also ignore the next option, save contact fields. Once you're done, click save settings. All right, so all we need to do now is test our quiz to make sure that everything works properly. So we just need to go back or let's click questions. All right, so from this questions page, to preview your quiz or survey, go to the top of the page and click the computer button. All right, so this is our fast food quiz. So let's take it quickly. So what is my favorite pizza topping? Let's say ham. Click submit. All right, so we have submitted our answers and this data should be in our Google Sheet. So once you're done checking over, go back to your Google Sheet. At the top, we just want to go back to surveys. 
And if we look, all of our data is in this Google Sheet right here. So this sheet will store data for all of your quizzes moving forward. So I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.